Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today I've got another ranking video for you guys. I really enjoy making these videos and they seem to do pretty well on the channel. So today we're going to be ranking every single new item and weapon in Fortnite Season 7. So if you guys go ahead and enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and please pop in code ParkerDV in the item shop if you're picking up anything, and send me pictures on Twitter for a shout out. So guys, let's hop straight into it. So let me quickly go over the tier list. So God is basically obviously it's like the best weapon or item in the game and then trash being no one's going to use it and then in between you know i'll decide so let's go ahead and get started right here let's start out with the ufos okay so <laughs> this is going to be a tough one i like them but i also don't i like them when i'm in control of them and i can take out people but when there's like three of them above me shooting those things at me um yeah i don't like them so I'm going to rank this based off of my liking, like if I'm using it and not being attacked by it. So I would say these things are pretty poggers. There is a really cool glitch. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you pick up any item, I think you can pretty much do anything like a, a container, literally a table, sometimes cars. If you touch someone with the with that object, it'll kill them instantly. So kind of a cool thing. I was going to make a video on that. I, I still could, but... That's why I put these things under poggers because of, of that and they're, they're just fun You know, I like the whole idea of where you can abduct people as well. I think it's pretty funny So yeah, we're gonna go with a poggers rating on the UFO next up is the pulse rifle Okay, so this thing is really awesome in my opinion I'm probably gonna put it under poggers as well. Let me explain So the pulse rifle is basically the stark industries rifle basically redone So it's like in alien form. I guess you could say um, when you hit fire, the fire rate is much quicker. If you aim down sight, it is slower, but the damage is higher. I believe this thing does anywhere from like 54 to like 58 headshot. So you can easily two shot someone with hundred health. I really like the feel of this gun. So that's why I'm putting it under poggers. I like it. It's fun. Brings back memories from season four. So let's move on to the next one, which is the chimera ray gun. I just call it the ray gun to be honest though. It's like I don't know why, why you would say Chimera. Anyway, so I'm going to put this thing, okay, under Gaudi. Hear me out. Before you dislike the video or go down to the comments, hold up. So if you guys haven't used this gun, it's pretty interesting. So you can find it by killing the aliens in the ships. And what this gun does, is it, it has a super fast fire rate. I mean, like crazy infinite ammo it does overheat after a period of time however the damage is only nine for body shot and 11 for headshot but since the fire rate is so quick you can take out someone in like a second I'm, I'm not even joking hop into someone's box with this thing and just shred them to pieces I'm serious I've only tried this gun a couple times and the few times I've used it I mean it, it like I said it literally just destroyed them so this gun is so OP most people just don't really pick it up because it's kind of weird. It's just, you know, like a laser gun. There's it overheat, you know, it's kind of a, a weird weapon, but it's new and it's really good. So that's why I'm putting it under the God tier. Next up, we've got the recon scanner. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under poggers as well. It seems like most of these weapons are on the top two tiers. And here is why. So this gun allows you to shoot like a grenade almost, but it doesn't do damage but it scans the entire area for, I, I don't know the exact time, but I would say it's at least 20 to 30 seconds. It's a pretty long time and it will scan any enemies, chests, IO guards, anything in that area. So you basically have wall hacks. It's really cool. So definitely use this thing in game. It'll give you wall hacks, like I just said, and it'll work very well with the next weapon on this list, which is the rail gun. The rail gun, <laughs> is going on god this thing is so overpowered you know what i'm gonna switch it to show like okay this is like the top one and here is why well i'm sure everyone has used it this thing can shoot through walls okay, only one layer but it'll still do like 178 headshot even through a wall and if you combine it with the recon scanner you have wall hacks and a gun that shoots through walls well, you can't get any better than that and this thing charges up and then you can release it. There's like a little icon on the right side. Once that gets all the way full, that's when you can shoot. And then the left one, once it gets all the way full, it will automatically fire for you. And a really cool trick is if you like charge it up, pointing away from your enemy, 
and then quickly right before you fire aiming at them they won't even expect it coming and they're done like i mean this thing is insane it's like 85 body shot 180 something headshot it's just nuts it's almost better than the sniper so yeah this thing is just, it's a god weapon i feel like it's gonna get nerfed because of how op it is so that is all the new items from this season but let me quickly go over some of the unvaulted because it's been a while since we've had some of these in the game Let's go ahead with the suppressed SMG. I'm going to go ahead and throw it under OK. I mean, it's very similar to the normal SMG. I think the damage is either slightly less or more. I, I actually don't know, but I've used this gun many times. Um, I prefer the P90, but it's still pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it under there. It is also an OG weapon. So, you know, it's got it's got to go a little bit higher on the list. And then we've got the bolt action sniper. Oh, my God. I'm so happy this thing is back. We're going to put it under poggers as well because it's an OG weapon. It does 265 headshot. You know, it's a sniper. It's awesome. We haven't had snipers in a few seasons. Last season was just, in my opinion, terrible. I mean, yeah. Okay, it's over with. Snipers are back. We love it. And then we've also got the epic and legendary variants too, which the sounds on those are just so satisfying. I don't know why. I really want to see the heavy sniper come back. Really do. So we're going to go ahead and keep it under poggers because it Snipers are awesome, right? And we've got the hand cannon. I'm going to put it under OK. Here's why. You have to be dead accurate with this thing. I mean, it's super hard to hit shots, especially from range. Um, it does like over 100 something headshot. I think it does like 150, to be honest, if you're like pretty close to someone, which is a ton of damage. But again, you have to be super accurate, which it's hard to use. Um, it's a fun gun. It's pretty OG. I remember when it came out back in, I think, season three. So cool gun. Glad it's back. I don't know if I'd use it over the rail gun, probably not, or a sniper, but yeah, you know, it's an option, it's there, comes in epic and legendary, so pretty cool. Launch pads, you already know, god, these things have saved me so many times in Fortnite, way back when they first came out, I think ever since I was playing Fortnite, they were in the game, and then when they took them out, I was like, oh my god, no way, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally gonna die every fight now, because I can't escape or, you know, save myself, so... Launch pads are just so awesome to get into zone, to escape a battle. You, you already know, you, you need to glide in the game. Really good mobility. I'm so glad these things are back. They really should never have taken them out of the game. So super happy launch pads are back. And last but not least is the AK. I'm going to go ahead and put it under not bad. Hear me out. So the AK when it first came out was pretty good. Um, fire rate is definitely a lot slower than a normal AR. And... The bloom on this thing is pretty high. You have to be very accurate along with the hand cannon. And when I get an AK, I would drop a blue AK for a gray AR. I mean, I don't know. I just don't like it that much. I think an AR is so much better. And the pulse rifle is like 10 times better than this gun. So we're going to keep it there. And that is the tier list, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I really love making these videos. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas from other tier lists. Drop them in the comments and I will be sure to take a look at them. Hopefully we'll make more videos on these tier lists. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, code ParkerDV in the item shop. Stay awesome. See ya.